Hey guys, this is Aaron from RF Digital. This is the fourth video in our five-part Assembly Cloud series. Today we're going to set up cloud control of our Assembly Cloud device. I have with me the Assembly Development Kit number RFD 77803. Let's get started. For this example, we'll use our USB shield, 7-pin GPIO breakout, and RGB LED shield. In your Arduino IDE, go to Tools, Port, and make sure the correct COM port is selected for your assembly device. Then navigate to File, Open, and open your Lighting underscore Mobile sketch. We'll be building off of that. Go to File, Save As, and save this sketch as Lighting underscore Cloud. In order to add cloud functionality, we need to include two more headers. The first will be Simply for Mobile Client .h, and the second will be Simply Cloud .h. Be aware that Simply Cloud uses Simply for Mobile Client to connect. For this next part, you'll need to open your Simply Cloud dashboard. Copy your user ID and store it in a variable in your sketch. Add a 0x in front of it to make sure the compiler knows it's hexadecimal. Next, we create an ESN for our destination. Store that in the dest ESN variable as a hexadecimal value. Remember, you can choose any value, just make sure it hasn't already been taken on your account. After you've defined your variables, we need to create a Simbly for Mobile Client instance. We also need to create a Simbly Cloud instance and pass it our new Simbly for Mobile Client instance. Let's move to our setup function. After our first serial.println command, add serial.print. The ESN of my light is 0x. Then add a serial.println command that prints your ESN. Your ESN is stored in your cloud instance as my ESN. Make sure to send hex as your second argument as we want it printed in hexadecimal format to the serial console. We also need to set our cloud user ID, so type cloud.userID equals the user ID variable you defined above. Now we're done with our setup function. The only change we need to make here is adding a cloud.process function call underneath the simply for mobile.process function call. Let's move on to the void UI function. We want to know if we're connected to the cloud or not, so at the beginning of the void UI function add if cloud.connect and print cloud connected to the serial console. However, if we're not connected, print cloud disconnected to the serial console. Under the UI underscore event function, we're going to add a new function, simply cloud underscore on receive. This function will run when we receive data from the cloud. This function receives three arguments, the origin ESN, the payload that was sent, and the length of the payload. The first thing we'll do in this function is print a line to the serial console stating cloud switch. Next, we'll check the first byte of our payload and set the current state variable. If the first byte of our payload isn't set, then we're going to send the value of our current state variable to the destination ESN. Next, we need to add a few lines of code to the check state function. After we turn on our LED, we'll send this value to the cloud. So first, check if your cloud is active. If so, send 1 to the cloud and print sent to the serial console. Do the same thing after we turn our LED off, changing the corresponding values. Last but not least, scroll down to your simply for mobile underscore on disconnect function. Underneath the serial.println function, add another stating cloud disconnected. Save, compile, and upload your sketch and open the serial monitor. You'll see the ESN of your simply module listed there. Now return to your simply cloud dashboard and go to the module section. We're going to add a new module. Click the new button. We'll name our module light. 
Enter the ESN listed in your serial monitor and click the Create button. Next, we're going to create a new pool with our destination ESN. Go to the Pools link and click New. We'll name our pool Light and add the ESN we created earlier. We've now configured our Simbly Cloud account. Next, we need to grab the web files that we're going to use to control our Simbly. You can download them from service.simblycloud.com slash demo.zip. I'm going to be using my Simbly Sandbox account. Extract the file you just downloaded and navigate to that folder. Open the Light Cloud Demo HTML file with Notepad or another editor. We need to change the ESNs in this file so everything works correctly. Scroll down towards the bottom of the page until you see some JavaScript code. There are three ESNs here that we need to change. Our destination ESN, our pool ESN, and we need to add our user ID. First, we'll set our destination ESN. Next, we'll set our pool ESN. Lastly, we need to set our cloud user ID. When you've made those three changes, save the file. Go ahead and open it using your web browser. You should see the cloud status change to connected. Now let's open our Simbly app. Select your Simbly and you should see light status change to connected. Go ahead and click the turn on button you should see the change propagate not only to the web page, but your mobile app and the RGB LED shield. Go ahead and click turn off and everything should change back to normal. Using the buttons on the RGB LED shield or the slider in the mobile app should also propagate the same changes to the web page. You can find more documentation at simply.com.